Bonjour à tous, je suis le 564 et on se retrouve pour un deuxième épisode. Euh, qu'est-ce que j'ai fait Bah oui, les touches laissées encore. <rire> j'ai encore cette erreur. Tiens, on va voir ce que ça fait. Yes <rire> Yes Yes oui donc comme je disais on s'était arrêté sur euh, ce let's play de Sam et Max et donc du coup bah euh... donc bah voilà on reprend sur ce let's play donc alors voyons voir euh, ce qu'on va avoir là dedans alors, on va essayer de parler au, au général au babouin qui nous avait agressé la dernière fois Hello, sir. Mr. President. President, you are the ruler of this planet? Oh, no. I'm just President of the United States. We're only one of many United Nations working You're together to here, achieve... Sir. You can speak freely. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm in charge, pretty much. Perfect. <laughs> just the one I wanted to see. <laughs> Keep the hands where we can see him, pal. But of course. I have come to your pitiful, beautiful world for a peaceful exchange of technology. All oh, the wonders of the galaxy, yours. <laughs> What's the catch? No catch. <laughs> All I ask in return is your help while my research <laughs> assistants search for an artifact. Of interest to my people. <rire> Une banane. Alors vaisseau spatial relique. What's this about an artifact? It is the eyes of Yog Sogoth, one of hundreds of magical toys scattered throughout the galaxy by the great comet. It's believed to give the holder the power to see the future. What a coincidence! I was just... He was just saying how he wished he could see the future, so he and I would stop showing up to work wearing the same thing. It gets pretty awkward. Je suis quasiment sûr que Max, il a, en fait, ce qu'il a qui nous permet de voir le futur, c'est exactement ça ce qu'il veut. Just wondering, how much do you pay for security on a ship like that? Security? You know, laser grids, explosive time locks, that kind of thing. We're just curious. <laughs> My spaceship and the wonders aboard it are open to all the feeble people of Earth. It's no fun when they don't put up a fight! <laughs> um... You're not from around here, are you? Guilty. You could tell by the accent, right? <laughs> no, I have traveled from a planet hundreds of light sûr. years away from your own. It was once a beautiful, swampy and muggy world, the air dancing with swarms of mosquitoes, the stillness of the nights punctuated only by the mewling of infants and the drunken revelries of toothless secessionists. <laughs> Its name would be impossible for your earth tongues to pronounce, but my people know it as Pensacola. Oui, Pensacola, c'est impossible, c'est impossible à prononcer, bien évidemment. What are you doing here, Agent Super Bowl? As you know, sirs, when you appointed me Secretary of the Posterior, that placed me in command of the Department of Homeworld Security. I didn't know we had one of those. Did you, Max? Heck, if I know. As soon as they gave me a button that shoots ballistic missiles and a hotline to Mila Jovovich, I lost interest in everything else. Well, I investigate visitations from aliens, abductions, violations of the time stream, lost continents, myth and legends, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Does the general want a banana? I see. Because I resemble your Earth gorillas, you assume I want a banana. I'm glad to see that Earthlings are still so charmingly racist. <laughs> Relax, buddy. We're just making sure you're getting enough potassium. <laughs> All right. We'll uh, let you know if we find that artifact. After clearing it through the Department of Homeworld Security first. Just a formality. Go in peace. Et il passe un peu à lui. <rire> bon, euh... <rire> ok, alors voyons voir ce qu'on peut faire. 
Eh, ah, Spinky, euh, ce qu'on va... Ouais, pourquoi pas Alors, voyons voir. Stinky. Euh... Ah, Stinky's Diner. The perfect place to catch up with old friends. And meet new ones, like emergency medical technicians and the friendly folks at Poison Control. <laughs> euh, voyons voir. Is anybody gonna eat this? Ok. Inspecter pour voir. Strawberry? Beet juice and ham. La betterave. <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen a fish in this aquarium. They're probably just hiding from the stinkies. <laughs> ok, euh... On va voir, jukebox, non, pas encore. Oh, hi, Barney and Jug Jug. Barney and Jug Jug? Ugh, you're not even trying with the names anymore, are you? Look, I've got a lot going on. Can I just give you your key or your crystal shard or whatever it is you're looking for so you guys can go off and do whatever it is you do? Sorry, Stinky. We gotta go through all the questions. It's the rules. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. I'll take a double bacon cheddar butter deluxe, heavy on the wacky sauce, two orders of the jalapeno cheesy poofters, Rhode Island style. No, three! Okay, three. And let's throw in one of the eight bean casseroles with extra onion rings, and finish it off with a jumbo-sized frosty banana mint pickle cyclone chugger with extra jimmies. Small side salad, please. Oh, and some bangers and mash. Hold the mash. I'm on break. <laughs> okay, <d 'accord. laughs> Things must be easier now that Grandpa Stinky's back. Oh yes, it's heaven. Look at what he's doing to the place. He's totally destroying the ambiance. Yeah, this place used to be an aggravated assault on all five senses. Now it's just a misdemeanor battery. Six senses, Sam. You always have the uncanny premonition of severe stomach upset in your future. <laughs> yeah. The aliens have landed. Oh, really? I haven't heard anything about that at all. Keep your guard up. We're about 99.8% sure he's evil. He's not even human! <laughs> okay, uh... Ben... Ben. You and Grandpa Stinky should patch things up. I hate it when Oop. they fight! Oh, I don't think Grandpa Stinky is going to be a problem for much longer. Intriguing! I signed us up for relationship counseling and a business management seminar. No. Oh. <laughs> Il à ce du sang, lui. What happened to your fry cook? Yeah, what was his name? Sal or Pablo or Mohammed or something? You boys must be mistaken. It's always been just me here, working the kitchen, no one else. <laughs> That's why I'm so grateful Grandpa Stinky's back. So he pourrait, he pourrait faire la cuisine à sa place et tout. <laughs> bon, ben. See you again soon, Stinky. Yeah. Take your time. Ever since Girl Stinky took over the kitchen, Stinky's signature pies have gotten marginally more edible. The insect bits give the dough that extra bit of crunch. Okay. Well, apparently, there's nothing to search here. Did you get the phone public? Okay, the cafe there. Go with them. Alors voyons voir euh... dans le métro non. Bah ici non. It's General Skunk Ape's horrible spaceship. Good likeness. On peut rentrer. Oui on peut. This place looks eerily familiar. Check it out, Max. The control center for invaders from distant stars. Yeah, yeah, alien spaceship. Seen it! I just want to get to the part where I have those sweet psychic powers. <laughs> we just need our friend the brain to hook you up and 
Oh no, he's dead. Didn't he look more moist in the future? We've got to find some way to wake him up so he can explain what's going on. Ok, est-ce qu'on a... Non, on a juste ça. Ok, c'est pas intéressant. He died too soon, I'm assuming. How are we going to wake him up? You must figure out how to do it eventually, Sam. He was awake in the future. Well, that's going to be pretty clever of me. I wonder how I end up doing it. Mais c'est vrai que ce serait cool si on pouvait savoir. Euh, voyons voir ce qu'il y a là. Nothing. Ok. Regarde l'écran. It's empty. Ok, bah bon, je pense qu'on descend. Step aside, ladies. Big winner coming through. Congratulations. Hey pal, we want to ask you. I've been listening to suits like you for too long already. You can dig your own tunnels now. Why was I enjoying all expenses paid off-world vacation? So long, suckers. <laughs> Oh. And that is why we're doing a staycation this year. D'accord. Euh. Euh. On va voir quand même. Bah on prend le casque, je pense. Weird. There's a hard hat and some kind of vacation ticket. All the personal effects confiscated from our fuel resources are collected and donated to various intergalactic Mole Man charities. What a nice gesture. We should leave it for when that Mole Man gets back, Sam. I think he uh, went to live on a farm to play with other Mole Men. <laughs> oh, <laughs> check if he left his wallet. <laughs> no such luck. <laughs> Oh le pauvre, bon euh. On le verra plus je crois. Super euh, ticket vacances. <rire> on va sortir. Ok donc euh. On va voir. On va sortir du vaisseau, on va regarder un petit peu vite fait ce qu'il y a aux alentours. Non. A priori, s'il change pas la, la caméra pour euh, modifier l'angle pour qu'on puisse faire des trucs, a priori, euh, bah, on peut rien faire. On sort. <rire> du coup, le seul endroit où on n'est pas allé, c'est là. On dirait quand même un peu des égouts. Oui, ce sont des égouts en fait. Chinch, the mole people are taking their own sweet time getting our subway station back into shape. Well, to be fair, they've been subcontracting to the mutant alligators union. Those guys are notorious loafers. Inspecteur Poussette. Rosemary keeps wandering off and leaving this thing behind. This broken gumball machine always makes me wistfully nostalgic for earlier times. Like that time we smashed this gumball machine. That was great. <laughs> Four square and seven brides ago. It's a sculpture of Abe Lincoln's head. Sheesh, what will it take to get rid of that guy? He's not a real guy, Max. I can't be positive, but it seems to be made out of pudding. Is it the annual citywide pudding festival already? I feel unprepared. <laughs> hey, any of you guys seen Charlie? He was supposed to be back by now. Okay. J'avais pas remarqué ça. Mais a priori, on a cassé le pouvoir, donc euh, voilà. Well, now I just want to know how we get over there. Me too. Knowing us, it's probably something clever, but overly complicated. 
<rire> Le prochain train, vous voudrez savoir c'est quand euh, Oui, voir. Oh, that's unpleasant. Euh, d'accord. C'est cool. Mais du coup, on sait, on sait que déjà, on est censé se retrouver là-bas, à un moment. Donc, on va essayer de trouver un moyen. Un commentaire, ok. Bon, on n'a pas de, de trucs comme ça qui pourraient nous aider directement. Je euh, pense qu'on va sortir et essayer de trouver un moyen au-dessus. On va essayer de voir. Parce que là, on a fait à peu près le tour. On va probablement pouvoir se servir des casques ou des trucs comme ça pour faire des trucs. Est-ce qu'on peut aller par là Non, non, on peut pas. Ok, on est limité à ça. Euh... On peut pas aller derrière le vaisseau, non. Ça aurait été trop simple. J'adore. Euh... Oh, shame on you, Max. You know how Stinky explicitly told us never to go back in the kitchen. <rire> D'accord, donc... Bon, on peut pas aller dans la cuisine, apparemment. I guess having just a jukebox wasn't loud and annoying enough. Oh, il y a pas parlé à lui. Good. You two are back to barrage me with your inane questions. We missed you too, Grandpa Stinky. Did the health inspectors ever make you wear a beard net? Mm, we will. Isn't it kind of overkill to have a radio and a jukebox? Anything to drown out the noise my granddaughter calls music. It ruins the digestion. Be fair, Sam. Stinky's food does require you to be 100% focused on digestion. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Grandpa Stinky, I sure am glad to see you back working in this diner again after returning from a long time away to work with your granddaughter, who's also coincidentally named Stinky. Was all that really necessary? Sorry, Max is all short-term memory. I have to bring him back up to speed every once in a while. Ah! Giant talking dog! <laughs> oh, Dieu, I'm sorry, I'm C'est vraiment ridicule. Euh, voyons voir. Mais j'ai dû poser des questions sur son back to work with your partner again. I don't know. He's kind of cramping my style. Oh, you were talking to him. Yeah, never mind. Oh, it's great. She has me working the register and making deliveries. A master chef like myself. And she won't even let me in the kitchen. I already explained, Grandpa. I just have to make it nicer so that it's, um, worthy of your skills. <laughs> As part of the Freelance Neighborhood Watch, we're warning everybody about an alien gorilla on the street. General Skunkapi? We do well to have more of his kind in this neighborhood, instead of these shiftless layabouts loitering around until somebody comes to ask them questions. Wow, I never would have guessed Grandpa Stinky was so prejudiced against non-player characters. <laughs> Skunkapi is a true commander. He's going places. I could even see him making it to the White House. And burning it down, most likely. <laughs> what station are you listening to? There'll be only one station worth listening to in the greater New York area. WSNT. You're listening to WSNT. All sea shanties, all the time. Yo ho. Uh, okay. <laughs> How's the diner business treating you? It's been all I can do just to turn this back into a place that lures decent people in to eat. The carefully placed rat droppings are one of those flourishes you don't notice until they're missing. Did you see all the decorations she scattered about? Rubbish! At least then, we had some customers. 
I, you really appeal to the lucrative insect and talking statue demographic, <laughs> I'll give you that. C'est tu qui parle. Oui, parce que il y a cette tu qui qui parle en Roman oil machine in no time. Mark my words, boyo. Boyo? Do people really say that, Sam? That woman will be the death of me. That's the idea. Ah ouais. Can't you and girl stinky just get along? All this negative energy is bad for my psychic balance. She's the one locking a master chef like me out of his own kitchen. It won't be a problem after I perfect my recipe and make my fortune. Okay. What about you? Just be careful around Skunk Ape. Ah, you just don't trust him because he's not human. Uh, what? He's welcome here any time. My granddaughter could do a lot worse than to court a magnificent specimen like General Skunkape. Ew, gross. <rire> Stay cheerful, Grandpa Stinky. D'accord. Euh... Alors voyons voir qu'est-ce qu'on a vraiment, vraiment, vraiment pas fait dans tout ça. On a visité le vaisseau, on a fait, euh, on a visité le restaurant, on est allé dans le métro, on a essayé d'aller de ce côté-là. Euh... On n'a pas regardé le futur en fait. On va retourner dans, dans, dans le resto, on va essayer de regarder oui le futur. <rire> J'ai donné une gifle juste avant d'entrer, c'est cool ça. Euh, voyons voir. Futur. Ok. On a vu ce qu'ils veulent. Enfin. Là, peut... <rire> ok. I was hoping you'd call. No, 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 don't speak. Those detectives are finally gone, but someone might be listening in. We should meet in person. Perfect. I'll leave right away. What? Of course not. And Sam and Max don't suspect a thing. Euh, maintenant, on se doute peut-être d'un truc. We interrupt this program for a breaking news bulletin. Officials for the city's 700 million dollar lottery jackpot drawing have announced that there is one winning ticket sold to unemployed and somewhat pathetic Molopolis resident Harry Molman. Harry la top. Ah oui, c'est celui qui était dans le truc euh, au premier épisode. <rire> so long, suckers. What about your super secret demon broth? <laughs> Take it. After today, I never need to worry about money again. Donc a priori, il va gagner beaucoup. Ok. S'il se dit qu'il a plus besoin, s'il dit qu'il a plus besoin de se soucier d'argent, ça veut dire qu'il va gagner beaucoup. Euh, comment? Donc a priori on doit essayer de retrouver de l'autre côté de, de se retrouver de l'autre côté du truc pour euh... Tiens Bosco Bosco Tech Labs visit our new location Oh so Mama Bosco's too good to haunt our street anymore Well this is kind of a bad neighborhood to be a ghost All the best cemeteries are on the other side of town <rire> D'accord euh Bien sûr euh voyons voir Euh, je pense qu'on peut plus vraiment rentrer dans notre bureau. Hello and welcome to a bold new reimagining of the computer obsolescence. Oui, je les avais oublié cela. <rire> yeah. What are you doing in our car? I said you guys could hang out in our car until you found your own place, but it's been months now. You have been randomly selected to enjoy a free trial of the Crime-Tron XL at no cost to you. Ok, donc, euh, bon. You guys should keep an eye on General Skunk Ape. We're pretty sure he's evil. That guy is a total heat sink. A real motherboard. We thought everybody else liked them except for us. It's so-called advanced technology is going to make thousands of hard-working computers and robots lose their jobs. When buying technology, look for the made-on-earth label. 
faut pas, il faut pas favoriser les, le matériel fait, de, fait euh, dans l'espace. C'est pas cool. Ça détruit le commerce sur Terre. What's this business about a free trial? You have selected to hear more about the Crimetron XL. In a world where thugs and supervillains rule the streets, only the most technologically advanced crime stoppers will emerge victorious. Submit clues gathered from your investigations and we will analyze the living hell out of them. Let's try out the crime chosen right now. We're sorry, the Crimetron XL may not yet be available in some areas. We are still recruiting members for the COPS. For the last time, we are not letting your Japanese robot dog into this group. <laughs> we talked about this. That dog is straight up creepy. Okay, donc euh, pas de chien japonais robot. What happened to that bluster blaster machine you used to hang out with? He has traveled with user Vasco to Las Vegas, Nevada. What's an outdated arcade machine supposed to do in Vegas? He doesn't even have any money! Bluster Blaster received a generous workers' compensation settlement upon his termination from Pimplicar. We cannot comment while litigation is pending. On parle d'une machine d'arcade qui est allée à Las Vegas. Et oui, bien sûr. How are you guys supposed to help us fight crime? Yeah, you're not even as powerful as a cell phone. Max, that was completely uncalled for. With my 1.6 MHZ of raw power, I am able to analyze data at speeds rivaling the most advanced pocket calculators. <laughs> and what do you do? I'm a functional telephone, and that's about it. <laughs> Donc euh, lui, il peut calculer du téléphone, c'est super. Now, talking to you guys is great and all, but could we have our car back? If you'd like to drive somewhere, use the handy city map contained in the glove box. Hey Sam, isn't our car still possessed by demons? It is not so bad as long as you do not try to run the air conditioner. <laughs> D'accord, donc la voiture... <laughs> la voiture est possédée par les démons, mais oui, bien sûr. See you, cops. End of line. Ah, on peut aller là maintenant. Donc c'est ce qu'il fallait faire, fallait aller dans la voiture. Alors on va voir vite fait. <rire> Mais oui bien sûr. On va juste vite fait voir ce qu'on peut est ce qu'on est censé pouvoir faire. Euh, qu'est-ce que j'ai fait Two in one blow, and without any significant injuries either. D'accord. Well, that knocked him out cold. Do it again! Do it again! D'accord, donc apparemment il y a un des... un des gardes du général qui va essayer de nous étrangler, c'est pas cool ça. Bon. Je pense qu'on va quand même essayer d'entrer, hein, du coup. Ah, on peut entrer. D'accord. Parce que je me suis dit avec cette vision du futur, euh, ouais, on va être bloqué et tout. Spooky ah, c'est nous Mama Bosco Yes, out Get out of here It's Sam and Max C'est moi au chômage Euh... Hiya, Harry. We were looking for Mama Bosco. Do not be afraid! Mama Bosco has passed on to the other realms! But I shall attempt to establish a link to... Oh, there she is! Hey, good looking! Oh, hey guys! The vinaigre? The bicarbonate Mama Bosco sends greetings from the ethereal plains! Welcome to the labs. You're my first visitor. Wait, 
I was your first visitor. Right. <rire> Tout le monde s'en fout des taupes. Pauvre. <rire> Bon, ah, partie sauvegardée, sauvegarde automatique, c'est génial. Euh, donc du coup, bah, on est euh, dans le dans euh, le laboratoire de Maman Bosco, de Maman Bosco. Et donc du coup, bah, je vous dis salut et à plus.